And we have breaking news right now at 5 on this Tuesday. A federal judge temporarily blocking Georgia's new abortion law from taking effect on January 1st. In the last 15 minutes, we've heard from the governor's office and from Planned Parenthood and the ACLU about this law that prohibits abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected with only a few exceptions. Usually that's around six weeks into a pregnancy, making this one of the toughest abortion laws in the country. 11 Alive's Doug Richards now is live with reaction tonight. Doug, pro-choice groups celebrating this as a victory, but the battle continues in court over this law. It is a long way to go before it officially plays out. It'll go on uh, into next year and uh, possibly beyond. This is the 47-page ruling issued by U.S. District Judge uh, Steve Jones uh, here in the Atlanta Federal Courthouse. He is an Obama, appoint an Obama appointee who heard the case just a few days ago when the challenge was made to the abortion law. It does not overturn the heartbeat law, which produced one of the fiercest public debates in recent memory at the Capitol, but the ruling does put the restrictive abortion law on hold, allowing women for the time being, probably through the first of the year and beyond, to continue to get abortions legally through the first trimester of pregnancy uh, and beyond that in some cases. An ACLU representative I talked with a few minutes ago uh, said that this ruling in and of itself cannot foreshadow the case's final outcome. What is clear to us is that the law is blatantly unconstitutional under decades of Supreme Court precedent. And the judge's ruling does state that one of the considerations for a preliminary injunction is the likelihood that we will pre pre prevail on the merits. Uh, and under current Supreme Court precedent, uh, his determination was that we were likely to prevail on the, on the merits, at, as he wrote in the opinion. And that was uh, Sean Young and Andrea Young of the ACLU. Governor Brian Kemp issued a statement saying, we are currently reviewing Judge Jones's decision. Despite today's outcome, we remain confident in our position. We will continue to fight for the unborn and work to ensure that all Georgians have the opportunity to live, grow, and prosper. So what we have really here are victories for both sides. The pro-choice folks have won the short-term stay in the law uh, that they desired to prevent it from taking effect on January 1st. Uh, and the pro-life folks who wrote this, ball, this law hoping to get a court decision to uphold it now have at least the first hurdle uh, cleared, uh, but know that other hurdles uh, will follow. And their hope is that they can get it to a Supreme Court that is much more conservative than the one in 1973 that wrote the Roe versus Wade law. So back to you. All right. Interesting point. Doug, thank you.